Um, Umar Ahmed, IFL TV, MTK Global. We're at the Landmark Hotel. The Juggernaut signs pen to paper with Frank Warren. Uh -huh. Why Frank? Um, I think, you know, he's a, he's a great promoter that's been, you know, he's been around for, for a very long time and he's made some, you know, really great fighters and really great fights. So um, I think I'm in good hands moving forward um, in the UK with him. Um, I'm also still with uh, Richard Schaefer in the US, so I have, uh, you know, very good promoters for, for both places. So, um, I'm looking to get in some big fights and I think uh, Frank has, you know, got the, uh, you know, got, got the right idea and could get me in some of these big fights. Mm. So UK and US, both bases covered? Yeah, well, both bases covered. So yeah, it's just, just down to me um, putting in putting in the graft in the gym and um, performing on the night. Mm. BT Sport, obviously a huge platform. They've got the Champions League, yeah. rights to the Premier League, and they're putting massive. a lot of boxing and UFC on. Uh -huh. So yeah, good to be on that channel. Yeah, it's a massive channel. But I mean, BT is, is massive. So, you know, it's great to be on board and, um, you know, get, my, get myself out there in the UK. Again. Another change in your career, uh, you left Abel Sanchez, yeah. joined with Adam Booth. Firstly, why leave Abel? Um, because I'm going to be based here again. So, um, obviously when I split with Salas, then I had a, you know, my first choice was Adam Booth, but he wasn't available. So, um, we thought we'd go to America and um, try out Abel. And uh, I got on with Abel, I liked his his method, so I was there for a bit and uh, picked up some stuff, but now I'm back on UK style and with Adam Booth, so I'm going to um, you know, carry on my career with him. After the, the Stavern fight, you had a lot of praise, but you also had a, a bit of a stick. Yeah. Uh, you got caught with a, a lot of shots, that's what people were saying, but with Adam Booth, obviously his thing is all about head movement, so yeah. it makes sense to go with Adam. Yeah, for, for sure, yeah. I think, um, yeah, differently than Abel, Technique is to, um, you know, to be more durable and to throw harder shots. The Golovkin style. Golovkin style, yeah, to to make exciting fights. Whereas Booth, um, you know, his methods are a bit different. Like, you know, a lot of head movement um, after I've thrown shots to, you know, get off at angles. And I think I need that so that I'm not a sitting duck and like taking shots to my face <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> you know? Sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Uh, Joe, your manager Sam Jones has been vocal, as always, um, about this Joshua fight. Obviously, Miller pulled out. First, I want to talk about the whole Miller situation, three failed tests, different substances. Your reaction? It's, it's a joke, man. Like, what was he thinking? Like, I mean, it's, it's just crazy. Like, uh, like, and I think he voluntarily uh, signed up for Varda, Varda. Varda testing. She's stringent and he's doing like three lots of like juice, like I don't get it. Um, Ortiz has also been offered that fight, I think five million dollars was reported, but he's turned it down and people are suggesting he might be mid-cycle as well, that's why he's yeah, turned down five million dollars. strong possibility, because I mean he's, um, you know, I don't think he's got too many fights left in him and I think, you know, what is he in, it? Like, what is he in this for? He needs, uh, I'm sure he wouldn't mind a big payday like that. Mm. Back to what Sam said, he'd be happy for you to go in June first. Is that what you said to Sam as well? Yeah, um, um, you know, it's an opportunity that uh, um, I thought I'd put my name forward, and you know, there's three belts, on, three heavyweight belts on the line, so mm. you know, it's, uh, it'd have been a, a good uh, opportunity for me. Of course, obviously that won't happen now. Um, you'll be fighting May 18th, debut under Frank Warren, BT Sport. Opponent-wise, I've heard the name Ustinov. Um, is that something that's been put to you as well? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind a bit of Ustinov. I mean, whoever. Like, I, I want a credible opponent. Like, I don't, you know, I want to... And I think it's a good uh, opportunity to get to get one in with Adam Booth um, before I get a, a bigger one in, in July. Mm. It's a huge bill as well at Stephen's, obviously, Billy Joe headlining, so must yeah. be excited to get on that. Prime time in the UK. Yeah, for, for, it'll be great for all the fans to, to see me back in the UK mm. on a big card like that. Just the last one, Joe. Um, the board have said they want you to fight Daniel Dubois. Mm. Obviously, you guys are both with BT Sport, both with Frank Warren. Yeah. When do you think that can realistically happen? 
Um, well, he's supposed to have one with uh, Richard Larty, who uh, I don't know Looks what's like happening. He's pulled out now, he's Saturday. pulled out, so um, I think he's going to have a... F I don't know if he'll, if he'll fight there. Or They're looking for a replacement. Yeah, so... Um, I don't know. I mean, he's an option, uh, but I'm mandatory for Europeans. Caballel. Caballel, yeah, and... Uh, Manuel, Manuel Char. Char so... Mm. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, in, uh, you know, depending. But, I mean, I obviously want to move on and up, upwards. Then, uh, I mean, I'd like to win the British title as well. But, uh, you know, I'll just see, uh, see what happens. And my plan is to go for the Europeans first and then the WBA regular. Mm. If you had to sort of hazard a guess as to what's more realistic for this year, either Dubois or the Cabell Char fight, what would you say? Um, what would you want for well, this year? Well, Dubois want, or, or Char or Cabello? Uh Char and Cabello, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's no brain now. I mean, okay, there's a British title, then there's European, European world. world. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. I mean, which would you choose? <laughs> I, I'd be the same as you, yeah. world and European honours. But obviously, Dubois fight, let that build. It's a yeah. massive uh, fight in the UK. Maybe next year? Yeah, yeah, maybe next year. Yeah. And, uh, you know, obviously it'd be easy to make with both the same promoter. So... All right, Joe Joyce, thank you very much for coming to IFL TV. Wish the best of luck uh, on May 18th. Mm -hmm. Debut under Frank Warren, BT Sport. And uh, yeah, appreciate your time. Awesome.